Yeah, as soon as I see him, Mrs. Lyons. Yeah, don't worry, love. All right. Cheers now. You know what? Tosh must have something going on the side. <laughs> Not now, Sarge. I'm up to here. Now, you think about his gut, Jim. Oh, no, thanks. His missus sends him off with a hearty breakfast. He stops on his way in to say hello to this floozy. I'll leave it out, Sarge. That's why he's late. I'm telling you. His fancy bit gives him another fry up. He can't say no. Well, and he pops in again on the way home for a quick one. Two dinners. That's why he's the shape he is. <laughs> Problem, George? No, it's OK. There's nothing here. What's the name? Roger Collins. Any address? Well, Sarge says he's not local. Why would we have him on file, then? Well, he's a student at the Technical College, I think. Look, not to worry. It was only in the off chance. I'll just tell Tom Penny you're useless, eh? <laughs> Charming. I keep telling the missus to change to the building society. There's a cracking little girl in there. And they open decent hours and all. None of this Arpus Nine lock. <laughs> Anyhow, what's the panic? D.I.'s in court, isn't he? Now, maybe, but not at half eight. He was pacing up and down in here, wanting a word with you. Who are you trying to impress at Harper State? Something to do with that missing cider job. That's all right, sorted. That's not the impression I got. Well, I used to know. Didn't you tell him? He wasn't exactly in early, either. Dear, oh, dear. Who's trodden your apples, Jim? Look, some of us have got a lot on. Sorry, sorry. <sighs> oh, Tom Penny rang for you three times. Hmm. What for? Now, don't ask me. I'm only the messenger. If it's bad news, I'll have to shoot you, then. Custody, Sergeant. Oh, at last. Nice to have you with us, Lines. No, don't be like that. I'm doing you a favour. Got a friend of yours banged up down here. Do you want to come and see him? Oh, no, that'll be telling. You've got to come and see for yourself. No, well, he'll be here for quite some time, I should think. Snide blister. You know, he's got a mate of mine downstairs. Probably Jack the lad Brunner. Jack who? Brunner. The one who nicked the cider. He should be in a nut house. Not here, if it's him. Brunner. Jack the lad Brunner. Just wait till I go. Just wait till... Morning, Tosh. Morning, sir. Do you know about? In court all morning. Yeah, of course he is. Not to worry. Sir. Morning, sir. Morning, Lines. Well, enough. Look who's talking. I saw you creep in ten minutes ago. Ta. <laughs> Sarge. Where have you been? Any inquiries? You're going to see Tom Penny. I got the message. Are you going to tell me or what? Step this way. Take a look. Like a lamb, isn't he? Simple drunkenness. Brought in 4.30 this morning. Standing on the highway, incapable of unfolding his legs. Wondered if you could confirm his identity. You wouldn't have asked me down here if you didn't think I could, would you? I was being thorough. Doing my job. They found his name and address on a student's card in his pocket. Your address, of course. But then you must know that. His name's Roger Collins. He's a student at the Tech College. <clears throat> so, what do we do now? What, with him? With you, lad. That's more to the point. I wasn't picked up, Legless. You know what I'm getting at. He went out celebrating with a mate. Something to do with his exams. Where's his first review? Half an hour. What's the charge? Nice to have some manners, wouldn't you say, in the circumstances? What's the charge, Sergeant? Simple drunk, no charge, brought in for his own good. You'll be letting him go, then? Just a caution, unless anything turns up. Have you looked? The usual checks. It's clean. Let's say off-white. Of course, he's not exactly your urban type, which might explain... He's from Leicester. Not used to our ways, perhaps. So you know where he comes from, then? I should do. He's been staying with us long enough. 
Thank you, Lines. That's what I wanted to know. Staying and paying, or just staying? You want to know if he's paying rent? Well, your missus could do with it, the state you keep her in, by all accounts. Who spotted the address? I read the custody sheet when I came in. Could hardly fail to note where he lived. Oh, make a hullabaloo of it. Meaning? Anybody else would have ignored it or had a quiet word, but not you, Penny. Sergeant. So it's all around the nick, is it? Tosh Lyons hasn't got authorization. <laughs> Just hanged yourself, haven't you? As at this moment, no one knows a thing. I'd no evidence you'd contravene regulations. You saved me a lot of bother, lad, now you've admitted it. Thanks, a bunch. I did you the courtesy lines of letting you know where Roger Collins is in case you'd been at all troubled about him. Yeah, I'm sure you did, Sarge. However, since his predicament doesn't bother you at all, I can only assume you'll be equally indifferent to his fate. So I shall handle it from now on as I see fit. He's putting the report in. I've just seen it. He is. Yeah. Regulations. You can't have lodgers, not lodgers and get rent allowance, and that's that. You know what Penny's like. Is that this Collins you were looking up? Yeah. Do you mind? Not if you don't. Make my day. Yeah, Sarge. Keep out of it, lad. I'm pulling rank. No, seriously. I've never been more serious in my life. You better watch what you're saying, public, Sarge. Mm. I might take you at your word. That'll be the day. Have you heard about Tosh Lines, Sarge? Leave it, George. What? One of the pools, has he? Couldn't happen to a nicer fella. Help him spend it. Sergeant Penny's reporting him. You're spoiling my coffee break, George. Look, I'm trying to concentrate on a lady. Breach of regulations. You'll be breaching them if you don't get back to the shop. Go on, off you go. Is he serious? Sounds like it. I went to the bank, yeah. He's here, banged up. He's drunk. Tom Penny's making waves. We never ought to have had it. Look, I'm not blaming you, love. I'm not. I'm, I'm just saying that. What's the matter? We got this last day. The missus took him in as a favour. Yeah, you told me months ago. Thought he'd have gone by now. I didn't get permission. Well, to do what? Give him a roof? To take a lodger. We're buying our own place. I'm getting rent allowance. You can't take a lodger without top brass approval. I didn't think it was worth the hassle for three months. I mean, by the time the paperwork was through, he should have been back home. So why wasn't he? He failed his finals, didn't he, eh? So we had to stay on and take him again. Well, how long have you had it? <sighs> you and a bit. What's it got to do with Penny? He went out and had a few bevies last night with a mate. And he got himself nicked, cross-eyed. They filled in a 57 from his student card, and he's only scrawled my address on it, hasn't he, eh? Oh, no. Tom Penny comes in at takeover, reads it, and his eyes light up at the prospect. Well, what can he do? He can put in a report. <sighs> yeah, somebody have to act on it. Once the word gets round the top brass, they'll be wetting themselves. They'll act all right. <laughs> Monroe wouldn't. I'm talking about Conway and Brownlow. Leave it out, Ted. Brownlow gargles with mouthwash before he picks up the phone to the DAC. I'm going to make some coffee. Do you want some, Tosh? Yeah, I'll have a tea, please, Jim Tell. Hey. Yeah, same for me. It'll sort itself out, mate. Yeah. So why didn't he get permission, the idiot? They'd never have said yes to a student. I mean, come on, would you? If he was clean, yeah. He is, is he? I don't know any more than Cathy told me. But anyway, Bob, you need approval first. It's no good writing in afterwards and saying, oh, by the way, I've got this grass-smoking, foreign-looking red lodger. Is that OK? Oh, talk of the devil. Do you mind, Norris? Can I have a quick word, Sam? Some other time. Is Andy in the picture? No, it's important. It must be. It's about Tosh. We're going to have a word with Tom. Look, what are we going to do, Sarge? I don't like to see mates in trouble. Hang on, I'll come with you. Best way at the moment, I say, Reg, is to keep this shut. We've got enough of these, haven't we, Sarge? Always keep 200. Right. Tom. Ah, Bob, just the man. Can you hold the fort? Have uh, you got a couple of minutes? That's all it can be. All of that right up front, oh, Garfield. Yes, Sarge. Selling or borrowing? Tosh lines. Ah. You know what I'm asking? Nope. All right, let's make it hard. How far has this thing gone? You can't contravene a little bit. Rules are kept or they're broken. There isn't anything in between. And did you know that Tosh had broken any? Knowing him, it was a fair bet. In other words, you tried it on? You're having one of your do-gooder turns. I don't need this. And Tosh lines doesn't need it. And his missus certainly doesn't. Turning into God, are we? The old Dixon image not good enough anymore. Look, we need to keep blokes like him in the force, not throw them out for the hell of it. It was a blatant breach of discipline. What do you want me to do? Play Nelson? 
Tom, you are being overzealous. In your opinion. Anyway, you're too late. The report's already gone upstairs. For God's sake, he's going to lose his job. I doubt it. Look, you know what the atmosphere is like upstairs these days. OK, so he's dismissed. Is that my fault? Yes. Fine. DC Lyons goes up on this disciplinary charge, sir. I'm claiming the right to represent him. What disciplinary charge, Hollis? And I'd be glad if you'd remind him, if need be, that should he require legal representation, Federation funds are available to defray the expenses. And apart from that, obviously... There's Three also... things, Hollis. No, four. One, you're not listening. Two, I do not know what you're talking about. Three, DC Lyons has his own departmental inspector... Hey, and... Mr Burnside isn't available, is he? I mean, that's why... I, I haven't under... finished. Four. If there are matters of this kind to discuss with Lyons, then I suggest you discuss them with him. Yeah, but I thought the least I could do was, you know, to talk to a reliable senior officer to ensure that Tosh is Have you tried getting in touch with him? Uh, no. Then I suggest that's the first thing you do. Yeah, but if I could explain, sir, I thought it had already gone too far, you know, with you having a report on that. I hear what you say, Hollis. And if your assistance is required, I'll make sure Lyons knows it's available. Thank you, sir. Sergeant. Sir. You want to shout? No, sir, just checking the beats. Everything all right? Yes, sir, I'd just like to get out if I can. Get a breath of fresh air now and again. I know the feeling, particularly at this moment. Sir? Hollis has been to see me. Oh, yeah. Declaring his intention to defend Tosh Lines. I didn't attempt to unravel the details. Can you fill me in? Sir. Uh. You ought to talk to Hollis. He's just nabbed me. He wants to be my friend at the hearing. A bit premature. Does he know there'll be one? He must have heard something. I was going to say you should get him to fix up some money counselling. <laughs> That's another thing. Debt? It's too human for a copper. It's not allowed. You're terrible with money. What do you do with it? I don't know. Kids, clothes, shoes, you name it. When you see Mr Conway? I haven't heard. Why is Tom Penny playing it this way? The moon's in the wrong quarter. He wound me up and I fell for it. Well, listen, if there's anything I can do, yeah. you know. Tom. He's admitted it. But you've not spoken to him? Not as yet. It's a shame Penny went into print. Lines has breached regulations. We can't condone it. No, sir, but ordinarily you'd kick his backside and be done with it. Possibly. The trouble is, where's the chief stand? Does he know or doesn't he? If he does, what's he waiting for? To see how I jump. If he had any sense, he'd leave it to you anyway. He'd also be worried about what area expects of him. Can't have senior management letting their lads get away with anything, all that. Would you like me to talk to Lyons, sir, in Frank's absence? I think not. The report's come to me. I'd better be seen to deal with it. No, I'm just concerned that these, things, know. these things can easily get out of hand. Well, the whole relief's on edge before you know where you are. Look, we've all been there, Andy. What you've got to remember is that Ares Antani won't miss this. Hmm. Lyons has not only taken a lodger without approval, but the lodger, as it turns out, has a record. That I didn't know. Yeah. Arrested once on a CND demo, a couple of times on a picket line, one assault upon a police officer, a violent history. All before Tosh knew him, I take it. You can't hide the facts. A disciplinary inquiry has to be watertight. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. I think it's bound to. All right. Uh, there's no return date. Oh, sorry. If you see Mr Burnside on his way in, would you ask him to have a word? Yes, sir. Thank you. What the devil was he playing at? Helping a neighbour out, I gather. Thanks. He must know it's against regulations. It's a shame Penny went into print so fast. Obsessive man. Gets carried away. Look, I was wondering, hmm? couldn't we deal with it on division? Well, I prefer to. Can we afford to? Area is very concerned about discipline and public relations. But surely a severe reprimand is all that's necessary. Yes, all that's necessary. Is Frank in yet? No, he's in court this morning. Does he know about this? Not yet, no. 
I'll have a word with him when he gets in. Right, sir. In the meantime, you better see lines. I'll have another look at it. But my hunch is we should send the report on for an I.O. to investigate. Which means we could lose lines. Unlikely, I think. But on the wrong day, yes, it could happen. All right, Derek, thank you. Right, Mr. Collins, sign here for your possessions. You can be on your way. Thanks. I'm sorry, you know, for all the trouble. I was a bit out of order last night, I think. <laughs> I, I, I don't remember much. But... Uh, you seem to have slept it off all right. Keep out of trouble in future. Best idea is not to get passing too many exams. <laughs> is this Sunil? It is. Any reason? No, I just... Well, someone I know works here. Well, you better not tell me who it is. He may not be too happy to hear about you. <sighs> no, right. Show Mr. Collins to the tradesman's entrance, Garfield. Make sure he gets off the premises safely. Sarge. Andy! You wanted a word. Come in. I've had a cracking morning. One of the best in a long run. Good. Seen off one of the nastiest little toe rags on the patch. Evil little rat. All above board, was it? Well, that's not a very nice thing to say. You couldn't have done a cleaner job yourself. So, what can I do for you? We've some trouble with one of your lads, Frank. Mine? Turns out he has a lodger in contravention of the regulations. No consent. Tosh? Oh, you knew? No. It sounds like him. He can be a saphead sometimes. Unfortunately, a report went upstairs before anyone could stop it. Climate and politics being what they are, the thing may go up to area. Oh, that's marvellous. Who blew the whistle? That's not the problem. No? One of your wooden tops, was it? Couldn't keep his nose out. An officer has committed a disciplinary offence. It can't be ignored. What can't be ignored is that when one of the lads is in trouble, we should stand by him, not conspire to jump off the ship with the rest of the rats. I don't intend to get heated, Frank. I hope you don't. And I don't intend to lose Tosh Lines. He's too good a flaming copper. You are aware that this is a serious disciplinary offence? Sir? For which the punishment, at worst, could be dismissal or a requirement to resign. Well, is that a yes or a no? Yes, sir. And you knew, I take it, that it was an offence at the time? I did, sir. Then why in God's name did you do it? It was a temporary arrangement, sir. I thought by the time the paperwork had been done, always provided consent had been given... Had you cause to suppose it might be withheld? The lad's a student. It's not the most popular of breeds. Especially one with a CRO number. I didn't know he'd got a record, sir. When am I due at area? This week, isn't it? Tomorrow afternoon, 2.30. Oh, in which case, I'd like this to go across. Make sure it gets there today, will you, area complaints? Wait! I wonder if I should add a personal note to it. I said, wait, Inspector. Can I have a word, sir? All right, just give us five minutes for that. Okay. This had better be urgent, Frank. I just heard about Tosh, sir. You heard what I said. If you'd have been here earlier, you'd have been consulted. As it is, you'll have to wait. If you're going to report Lyons, sir, you'll have to report me as well. Say that again. You heard. All right. What are you up to? I'm just stating the facts, sir. If you're going to report Tosh Lyons, you'll have to report me too. What do you mean? I gave him the OK. You did what? On that letter of his. I told him to take the kid in. On whose authority? You know how long-winded these pen pushers are. It's only for a month or two. Mr Burnside, perhaps you need reminding that I am the chief superintendent in charge of this station. It's to me that officers under my command need to apply for permission... Yeah, well, to I'm the officer in charge of a bunch of lads who spend all their time trying to sort your crime figures out. That's enough. Well, I'm not having them wasting their time filling in forms to get permission to give some poor kid a roof over his head. You will give them whatever time they need to comply with the regulations. Ah, oh, well, in that case, it's Tosh and me both, isn't it? He was acting on my instructions, and I'll tell him the same again. Get out, Inspector. I'll talk to you later. Sir? Ask Mr Conway to come in, will you, please? Thanks. I cannot allow a DC to undermine station discipline. 
If one offends, we all offend, Lyons. That's how it looks to outsiders. This has got nothing to do with anyone else, sir. You know damn well what I'm talking about. The damage you've done to morale must already be measurable in cost terms. But there's no need for other people to get involved. They're already involved, Tosh, whether you like it or not. Yes, sir. Wait here. Was it your intention to stir trouble for Lines? Not at all, sir. Only to seek his help in dealing with Roger Collins? Correct. Think carefully, Sergeant. Sir? I'm asking you to consider your answer. I intended to let Collins off with a caution. I simply informed Lines of the facts. In which case, you acted, Penny, as an accessory to a disciplinary offence. That's very serious. Oh, no, sir. I'm not having that. Did you or did you not suspect that an offence had been committed? I had to be sure, sir. But you just said you weren't concerned about it. Only about the prisoner's situation. It wasn't like that. As soon as Lyons admitted... So you were testing him? In a way, sir, yes. Then, once you'd confirmed your suspicion, why didn't you come straight to me? And if you felt obliged to put it in writing, why send it upstairs? Mr Conway would have to see it eventually. I don't like underhand dealings. We use established procedures. My reports go to the Chief Inspector. Your reports come to me. If this goes further, that's how I shall deal with it, Sergeant. Correctly. To lose a good DC is bad enough. To lose a DC and a DI is just too much. In the circumstances, I'm going to leave it to you to deal with Derek. Right, sir. If it should be raised at area, I shall explain I'm perfectly satisfied with our own internal inquiry. We've got no reason to feel insecure about discipline here. You don't want to see lines at all, sir? No. But you can tell him from me that I expect that lodger to be out of there by tonight. Will do, sir. Good boy. Go. Hi, right, Tosh. Yeah, Tosh. Alfred, my son. What's the score? I don't know what you said, Gov. But I owe you one. No further action. A few harsh words. I've got to give the laddies marching orders, but that's all. What are you doing for? Money? Of course not. Every drop helps, though. As the old lady said. Right. Forget about it. Put it behind you. But for God's sake, get your missus an abacus or something and sort yourselves out. Now, get your wallet out. You can take me down a pub and buy me a drink. <laughs>